hello everyone welcome back to acca by rida and uh, today we'll begin with the chapter 3 of the kaplan f3 study text which is double entry bookkeeping and uh, this is one of the most important chapters in accounting because uh, it lays the foundation for everything else and uh, in this session we'll focus on the first part of the chapter which is uh, business transactions and documentation so we'll talk about how transactions occur, their importance and the key documents used in accounting. So um, these documents help us ensure that transactions are recorded accurately and systematically. So let's dive right in and build a solid understanding of these concepts together. So before we get into the details, let's take a look at the objectives for this chapter by the end of this chapter you will be able to know about you will be able to understand the main forms of business transactions and the documents that accompany them then it has uh, the main forms of accounting records including day books like cash books the journal and uh, the journal ledgers and lastly but not the least the key accounting concepts such as duality double entry and the accounting equation so these objectives will covered over two videos mainly and in this video we will focus on the first that would be a business transactions and documentation so this foundation is necessary because uh, before we move on to the practical aspects of double entry bookkeeping right so let's start with the basics so as you can see here the overview uh, this chart which says the first transaction occurs so transactions what is transaction first let's understand the term transaction so in every business a number of transactions and events take place daily right and these transactions include activities like sales purchases paying salaries paying rent and even paying taxes so why are these transactions important these are uh, the building blocks of financial reporting okay just understand this because uh, each transaction represents a financial event and that impacts the business for example selling goods increases your revenue while purchasing inventory increases your expenses correct as I told you before about these heads of account if you miss that uh, the basic concepts of accounting so I will add the link in the description box you can check it out and uh, as accountants our job is to measure the effects of uh, those transactions which I am telling you before so record them accurately and summarize them in financial statements so these statements are then used by the stakeholders so who are the stakeholders like investors managers and regulators to make decisions about the business so whenever the transaction occurs you have to record this that transaction into the books of prime entries a simple list of daily transactions so what are the books of prime entries these are the books of prime entries mainly there are kind of seven books which we will uh, understand them in the further uh, video lectures and mainly here as you can see there are uh, three types of uh, books mentioned day book cash book and the journal well after recording the transaction into the books we have to update the ledger accounts so how to update the ledger accounts the ledger accounts should be balanced always balanced um, according to the accounting equation like duality so what is duality the duality whenever uh, the transaction occurs it affect at least two accounts right um for example i purchased office equipment for my business so for that asset i am paying cash and cash is also an asset for my business right so one asset is coming in and one asset is going out understood like office equipment are my assets so i am purchasing those assets and by that i am paying cash for that asset so 
there are two accounts which are going to be affected by this transaction now that we understand what business transactions are let's talk about the importance of documentation for every financial transaction there must be some form of evidence or proof that the transaction occurred and this evidence is what we call documentation for example if you purchase goods from a supplier and uh, there should be an invoice or purchase order to confirm the transaction another example if you receive payment right from a customer so there should be a receipt to show that the payment was made clear so documentation serves uh, three main purposes like confirmation details and recording like it confirms that uh, a transaction took place then it provides um, essential information about the transaction such as the data amount and parties involved and by that it forms the basis for uh, recording the transaction in the accounting records so without proper documentation it uh, would be impossible to track or verify transactions right and this is why documentation is such a vital part of the accounting process so i told you before about the evidence so what are the evidence source documents are the primary evidence of transaction and they are created when a transaction occurs and and contain all the key details uh, needed for the accounting purposes so for example if you sell uh, goods to a customer so uh, the statement uh, no not statement the invoice you issue serves as the source document and it provides details like uh, the name of the customer the quantity of the goods sold um the price and uh, the total value of the transaction so the purpose of a source document is to ensure the accuracy of financial records and then it uh, serve as evidence in case of audits or disputes then it provide a clear trail of transactions for future reference so source documents are not just um, about compliance they also they are also about uh, maintaining transparency and accountability in financial reporting so let's take a closer look at uh, some of the most common source documents used in accounting as you can see here that uh, there are three categories and uh, the first one are the names of the documentation then the contents used in those uh, documents and then the purpose of that particular document right so first we have quotation so quotation consist of uh, these contents like quantity should be included in this uh, document that how much um, the goods are going to be ordered then the description part then the details of goods required by the customer so it basically a uh, request by the customer to the supplier then we have purchase order so the contents include in this would be details of supplier because it is uh, sent by the customer to the supplier as a request for supply to check to the quotation and delivery note right and the contents include in this are like supply name address quantity description details of goods required and in this uh, especially include price and the terms and condition of delivery payments etc then we have sales order uh, sales order says that there would be contents including quantity description details of goods required by the customer and price so it's a actually the cross check with the order placed by the customer and it is sent to the stores or warehouse department for processing of the order then we have um, dispatch note which is also known as uh, gdn goods dispatch note and uh, it includes the contents which we have here details of supplier in which uh, name and uh, address 
the quantity and the description of goods are included and it is provided by the supplier checked with the goods received and uh, purchase order right so it is actually the checklist then we have just opposite of gdn goods received note which is uh, grn in short and it is just an opposite like it has in quantity and description of goods as in content and it is produced by the entity receiving so it's basically received by the customer right like goods are received as a proof of receipt then we have invoice and invoice contents include name and address of both supplier and the customer then we have details of goods like um, example quantity price value sales tax should be included in invoice and terms of credit terms of credit is something like the supplier has uh, give some days to the customer like 30 days of uh, margin to return the money right and uh, maybe it's something like uh, if not payment to made in 30 days then the customer has to pay an interest charge so it's like that so what is the purpose of invoice uh, issued by supplier of goods as a request for payment right for the supplier selling the goods or services this will be uh, treated as a sales invoice for the customer this will be treated as a purchase invoice so invoice include both the supplier and the customer then we have statement so statement uh, is issued by the supplier and check with other documents to ensure that the amount owing is correct so details of supplier like name and address has uh, details of date invoice numbers and uh, so statement is something which is uh, made after the invoice because it includes the invoice number and uh, it includes the values payments made and refunds like amount owing is also the content of a statement so then we have credit note uh, it is issued by the supplier check with the documents regarding goods returned so what does it mean sometimes the customers get the delivery of goods in a bad quality or maybe there is some issues most of the time customers uh, return those goods so for that document the content should be include the details of the suppliers like name and addresses and it contains the details of goods returned that why the goods are returned what what are the problems that customers have faced then uh, example quantity quantity like uh, maybe there is some less amount of goods delivered prices and uh, value sales tax should be included and terms of credit like we understand it before in the invoice so debit note is also just an opposite of credit note it is issued by the entity receiving the goods and it is a cross refer to the credit note issued by the supplier then we have remittance advice uh, remittance is something that uh, sent to the supplier with or as a notification of payment so we know about that uh, remittance uh, because we usually use this um, document in our uh, daily life whose family members may be living in abroad and maybe their faces like something like that so method of payment uh, would be included in this and invoice number should be included but right now we are uh, you know starting business so it includes the invoice number account, account number date etc then we have lastly but not the least receipts so, so receipts are something in which uh, details of uh, payments received should be uh, added as a content and its purpose is uh, issued by the selling entity and indicating the payment received so a receipt is issued as a proof of payment received right each of these documents serves a specific purpose and plays a key role in ensuring that transactions are recorded accurately and systematically now to better understand how source documents uh, fit into the accounting process let, let's break it down into three questions like when how and where 
so when are source documents created so source documents are created at the time of the transaction for example an invoice is uh, generated when goods are sold and uh, grn which is goods received note is issued when goods are received by the customer then we have how are source documents used so these documents are used to record transactions in the books of prime entry such as day book cash book the journal right we will discuss these books later on then we have uh, where are source documents stored so source documents are uh, stored in physical files or uh, digital system right so source documents are stored in physical files or uh, digital systems like nowadays digital systems are uh, something very common so source documents are stored in physical files or uh, digital systems like normally it is uh, it's been using like the so source documents are stored in physical files or digital or digital systems so source documents are stored in physical files or digital system like it is uh, a system like digital system is uh, commonly using nowadays and uh, these records are essential for audits compliance and uh, future reference now by understanding the when how and where concepts so you can see how source documents flow through the accounting process and uh, ensure accuracy in financial reporting so let's quickly summarize what we've learned today so business transactions are the foundation of financial reporting and uh, they present they represent the daily activities of uh, business such as sales and purchases then um source documents uh, provide the evidence needed to confirm and uh, record the transactions example includes uh, invoice purchase orders and receipts and more the when how and where concepts help us understand the role of source documents in the accounting process this knowledge is essential for understanding double entry bookkeeping which we will dive into the future lectures so thank you for joining me in today's lecture in the next video we'll move forward and discuss the remaining topics of this chapter so so make sure to like subscribe and share this video so that other students can benefit from these free resources see you in the next video